Beam down smoke. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, my name is Nalo, and today we're going to be talking about a website called Buff. So Buff is a Chinese website, it's a third party marketplace for CSGO, just like we have Skin Baron and Bitskins for example, on the American and international side of things. So the way that Buff works is it's for Chinese consumers usually, but in recent times a lot of people from other areas of the world have started using Buff just because it has very good prices and uh, overall it's just a, a nice site with a good API and the way it works is a player to player marketplace you don't have to buy from a bot so there's a little bit of a interesting bargain feature that you can also use on buff so overall it's a pretty cool site also this video has been highly requested i do understand that making a video about buff is going to bring a lot more people to the site which can either do very good things or very bad things for it and with that being said if you do use buff quite commonly and use it for very good prices and this does mess it up then i'm sorry in advance i guess with that being said this video was highly requested so i do want to make this video and if you haven't already there is another guide by Zipple that he actually created and uh, I do want to give a quick shout out to that guy because he did make a guide on buff before I did and if you haven't seen that one go check it out I'm just gonna make my own sort of take on buff and kind of walk you through the steps and how to get set up on it and stuff like that with that being said let's get started so the preliminary thing to know about buff is obviously the URL it's going to be buff.163.com so if you have any sort of other URL it's probably an API scam make sure you are going to buff.163.com so the next thing is the login page so as you can see on the screen here we have the login page with a few steps so the first step here the number one marked step is going to be your area code you're gonna be able to select your area code for your mobile phone from the list. If you select the incorrect area code for where you live, then you aren't going to get a correct verification straight to your phone. So make sure you are selecting the correct verification area code. And therefore the US areas, there's actually two that start with plus one. And with that being said, make sure that you are picking the one that actually says US. If you need to use a translator, you can do that. With that being said, the next thing you're going to have to do is go to the CAPTCHA, and that is a little bit of an interesting CAPTCHA that they use that I haven't really seen on you know different US websites. So the CAPTCHA that they use, you actually have to drag a puzzle piece into a missing puzzle piece area onto the CAPTCHA, and uh, it's, it's kind of simple, it's very easy, uh, but it's a little bit of a weird one, so it might be you might take a little bit of time to play around with to figure it out. And then the next thing you're going to do is type in the code and verify. The little button that's next to the number three is actually to send the verification code and not to enter it. So make sure that you're clicking that to send the verification code to your phone. And you'll get a text from NetEase Buff, and that's going to be your verification code to log into the site. You can also see below the other login methods, and that's if you've already verified your mobile phone and done all that, then you can use Steam to log into the website. And then once you've done that, it'll take you straight into the website after you've done all the verification steps. I also want to take a quick note here to make sure you guys realize that if you want to put money onto the site using some sort of a credit card, that's actually not possible for people that aren't inside of China because you need either an app Alipay account or a Chinese bank account and that's usually only accessible to Chinese residents. So with that being said, if you aren't a Chinese resident, you're going to just have to sell your items on Buff to gain Buff balance and that's kind of just how that works for international people. I don't know if they're going to add some sort of a payment method in the future, but I doubt it at this rate. Once you get all logged in, it's going to take you to your Steam inventory. You can switch between like CSGO, Dota 2, for example, if you have Arcanas or some other type of Dota 2 item that you want to sell on the site. And then you have your CSGO inventory, of course, which will give you a valuation of all your CSGO items and tell you kind of how much they are going for on the marketplace on Steam. If the prices are in a currency that you don't recognize, then you can just use the currency exchange rate on Google to figure it out you know how much it's actually worth you can list items on buff by clicking on them in your inventory and then clicking sell and then you can pull it up for however much you want to sell the item for and then you can go to the sale tab that you see up above here and that's going to show you where your items are and kind of just its valuation and you know what you're actually selling and it'll allow you to also manage the items that you are selling also keep in mind that because buff uses a player to player system it also uses your steam api to send and receive trades this is not an api scam it's just how buff works and if you link your API to the site, which you will have to do at some point to actually sell items and, you know, gain items on buff, then that's actually going to make things pretty convenient because when you sell items, you don't have to actually go and make the trade offer. You can just send it directly from the buff website, which is pretty cool. Buff will also give you a direct way to find your Steam API, so that part I'm not really going to explain. If you want to buy items on buff once you've sold stuff for buff balance, you can click on the market tab up above and that's going to take you to the market. It's pretty simple and straightforward to buy items. You just go click on them and then click buy 
And this is all, of course, the desktop site, which we'll get into the mobile app in a second as well, and the differences and things you can do on there. Buying items is pretty straightforward. You just click on what you want to use to pay for it. If you're a Chinese resident, you have other options. If you are an international resident, then you will have to use your buff balance that you get from selling items on buff. And then once you buy the item, the seller will have to send it in 12 hours, or I believe they get a sort of fee deduction, something along those lines. Make sure that if you do sell an item on buff, that you confirm the sale or you send the item out within 12 hours and no later. Once you successfully buy the item, the seller will eventually send it to your inventory. You'll get it as a trade offer, you complete the offer, and that's just how it works. The API basically takes care of everything, which is really cool. There's also a valuation tab you can use to search for people's inventories and see how much they're worth, but I don't know, I kind of find this as sort of a useless feature on a third-party marketplace, but whatever. Now, if you want to bulk buy or you want to do buy orders, for example, there are a couple ways to do that. First of all, if you want to bulk buy, you are going to have to use the app, so you can go to the app and do bulk buy for there. I'll explain that a little bit later when we get more directly into the app. And the way to do buy orders on the website is to simply go to the purchase area. And then when you go to the purchase area, you'll be able to click buy on whatever item you want and place a buy order for whatever quantity and whatever price. If you want to check your buy orders and your pending buy orders, the ones that haven't completed yet, you can just go to the purchase tab on buff and then it'll be able to show you your purchasing and your purchase history. There's also a point system on buff. You are awarded points when you sell and buy items on the site and then you are deducted points when you fail to complete different orders. For example, so that's why you don't want to fail to complete orders along with the other restrictions. And the point system is going to basically allow you to regime a few different awards and you can use those for different things on the site. You can find the point redemption in the app and this is what all of them do. Now, as I said before, buying and selling items on Buff is pretty simple when you have the API set up because it'll basically automatically allow you to send and receive items. You can just do your orders by going to the notifications tab up above or by going to the orders tab, which are very easy to access. It's not really something that I have to go into too much detail on because you'd kind of be a little brain dead if you weren't able to figure that out. But with that being said, there is one thing you need to make sure you do. Zippel also mentioned this specifically in his buff guide. And what you want to do is make sure that the registration date of the person that you're sending the trade to is accurate and lines up because if it's not, then obviously you won't be able to correctly sell the item and you could get your item lost to a scammer. The penalties for not sending an item are a little bit annoying with buying restrictions and different ways they can basically tax you, I guess I can call it that. And with that being said, just make sure that you do, in fact, send the items on time and you don't wait too long to send the items. Make sure that you have notifications. If you do have the Buff app, it'll be a lot easier to get notifications about items that you sell. And you can also use the Buff app on the go if you have to send an item when you don't have access to your PC. So that's another reason why the app is a very good resource for people that are selling and buying on Buff. And yeah, just make sure that you actually do send the items because you can be taxed and have little restrictions put on your accounts if you don't send them at the correct time. And that's why you should be careful with that. Now, when you're using Buff, you're also going to want to download the mobile app. It's just Netty's Buff. You'll be able to find it in pretty much any app store. It is an international app. And once you find Netty's Buff on the app store, that's going to allow you to do a few different things. First of all, it is required in some weird cases when you're selling and buying items. So that's why you want to make sure you have it. And uh, it's also going to allow you to sort of have a mobile look at Buff itself. Furthermore, the mobile app is actually preferred over the desktop site for international users just because the mobile app is more translated and more user-friendly for international users, which is a very nice thing. And uh, in general, the mobile app lets you do pretty much everything the desktop site does except from mobile. And with that being said, it's kind of the same overall thing. There's not really anything too specific and different about the mobile app that I have to go into too much detail about, but it is something that you want to have and download if you are going to be a buff user. So bulk buying is actually different than doing buy orders on the website. Bulk buying actually allows you to buy items that are already listed and you don't have to do a sort of buy order thing. And when you do the items that are already listed, you can bulk buy them on the app by putting in the quantity that you want and you can buy you know however many of those items that you want to fulfill once those orders fulfill and you get the items that's just sort of simply how a bulk buy works then you have the items and you send the currency. I also want to touch on a method to getting buff balance that Zippel also briefly talks about, and that's actually specifically using pure liquid items to gain buff balance because they sell a lot faster on the buff website than regular items would. So for example, if you have an item that's worth, let's say four arcanas, if you want to go figure out how much arcanas are worth, I made a separate guide video on those. But if you want to go ahead and sell your items for pure items like arcanas or AK airlines, for example, you can go ahead and take those to buff and sell those on the buff marketplace for a little bit of a faster balance 
Furthermore, those don't have trade holds, so you can do that kind of instantly. And that is a good method that Zibble talks about, and also another reason why you should go check out his guide as well for a better, deeper understanding of Buff itself. The bargain feature on Buff allows you to go to items that you want to buy, and you can just simply click on the bargain button, and it'll allow you to give the person that's selling the item a offer. And if you want to pay someone a little bit less if you think their price is too high for a specific item, or if you want to buy a specific Caddo and only want to offer a certain negotiable price, then you can use the bargain option and give them an offer that they might not be able to refuse. So just a quick recap, there is going to be an API that you have to link to buff if you want to sell and buy on it just because it makes everything easier. It's not an API scam, so no need to worry about that. If you do have any feelings that your API is taken though, you can always revoke your API. With that being said, there are a few very important things. Make sure you do have the mobile app just in case because if you don't have the mobile app and you do some kind of weird sale and the requirement to use the mobile app comes up, then you're going to have a problem actually selling the item and that can cause you to take a fee. So just make sure that you have the mobile app itself. And the mobile app is very easy to use. I would recommend using the mobile app for selling and buying anyway, just because there are no sort of restrictions that it has over the desktop app. So with that being said, I would use the mobile app if you are an international user or even if you're a Chinese resident. And other than that, the website is, you know, fairly easy to use once you get logged into it. The login itself is usually the thing that, you know, puts a lot of people off, but I explained that in detail earlier in the video. So with that being said, guys, hopefully this was a good, succinct guide. Hopefully it wasn't too long, and I do hope that you use Buff in the future, consider it as a marketplace because of the really good prices, and use it as a place to sell your items as well. There are a lot of Chinese collectors on this website, so if you have very expensive items or very rare items such as Caddo's, those are going to be a lot more easy to sell on Buff to those Chinese collectors. Just keep in mind that there are differences in the prices with Yuan and USD, so make sure you are doing currency calculations accurately. And with that being said, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel to watch more future content. And I hope you guys do join the Discord server in the description below. That server is popping off right now, really doing very good. And I'm getting a lot of support on it, so thank you guys so much for that. And if you guys do want to go ahead and check out my Twitter, I also have a Twitter account, Nalo Video, and that has a few little extra content things that you can connect with me on. And with all of that being said, again, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I thank you for taking time out of your day to come watch me. I will see you all next time. Peace.